Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys the new Berries and Cream collection from Dominique Cosmetics. And I am so excited about this palette because the colors are just... Wait till you see this. Are you ready? These colors are so pretty. I am so in love. And when I saw pictures of this palette before it launched, I was already just in love with all of the berries in this palette. The colors are so perfect for this time of year and I am so obsessed with very smoky eyes. I just think it's so pretty. Congrats, Kristen, on another beautiful collection, and thank you so much, Dominique Cosmetics, for sending this over so I could share it with you guys. If you guys are ready to see the collection and see how I got this look, then let's jump into it. I love this packaging. And on the back of the sleeve, you can see all the colors and all the ingredients are on the back. This is the Berries and Cream eyeshadow palette. It retails for $44 and it is now available on DominiqueCosmetics.com. It launched November 16th, so it just came out. So I'm so, so excited to use it today. This is what it looks like inside. I love, love these colors. I think they're so pretty. Also, I really like the new pan shape. I know with her other palettes, they are round. So this is a new shape that I think looks really good in the palette. I wanna do cranberry lips, cranberry eyes, and also a little bit of gold. So I'll definitely be using this one today. And it says here on the info card that you could just add the unique golden glitter to any look really. So definitely gonna be using that. And it says here that this is a new 12 shade palette designed to create a wide variety of looks from soft and sultry to high impact and dramatic. These are the lip products. There are two liquid lipsticks. So these liquid lipsticks are $18 each and there's one berry and one cream shade. I immediately thought that this would look really pretty like mixed together. So technically you get three shades. If you get both, you can mix them. I'll definitely be trying on both in this video for you guys, but I just wanted to show you the way the component looks. It's like a frosted tube and I think it's really pretty. And you have the berry top with Dominique Cosmetics and it says berries and cream for the collection. The cream color is called creamy pink and the berry is plum berry. It says that these are soft, creamy, long wearing and non-drying that fills in lip lines for a smooth, even look. The applicator is a curved tip for extra precision and bold color payoff in one swipe. So these liquid lipsticks actually launch on Dominique Cosmetics on November 30th. So you could pre-order these now if you guys head over there. And of course I'll have that link down below for you guys. I also read that these liquid lipsticks are an introduction to Kristen Dominique's line of liquid lipsticks that she will be coming out with. So these are the first two she has created and I'm super excited to try them. These looks that are on this card are so beautiful. So I am definitely gonna be taking some inspo from this today. So I already primed my eyes with some concealer and I set it with powder. So we're just gonna jump right into the eye look. I'm gonna be doing like a half cut crease today. So I really wanna pick up something that's gonna like pop the eye, something I can blend into the crease. And I wanna do like predominantly like a lot of berry shades. I'm first gonna grab this color here called Bittersweet and I'm gonna start blending that right into my crease. And I'm gonna take my brush and lightly kind of bring that into the inner corner of my eye. And because I'm gonna be doing a pretty dramatic eye look, I wanna start with something that is pretty light and then go into like really deep, deep shades. So I'm being super light with this color. I haven't dipped back in or anything. So now I'm gonna be picking up a little bit more of that color Bittersweet and I'm just gonna start building up the crease. And I'm gonna be placing this a little bit closer into the crease so it fades from like a dark berry into a lighter berry. And just a little update for you guys, these colors are looking so beautiful. They're blending really nicely. This color Bittersweet is just really beautiful. And what I really like about it so far is it's the same color, but I'm building on it and it almost looks like I'm using two colors. So the shadows can really build on each other and deepen really nicely. So now I'm picking up the shade Cherry Juice, which is this really deep burgundy color. And I'm gonna be concentrating it right into the crease. But I'm keeping this pretty low. I don't want it to fade up into those other colors. I just want to keep it pretty deep into the crease. And it's okay if you do get this a little bit on your lid because I'm going to be using like concealer to cut out that lid space and we're just going to be cleaning everything up in a little bit. And now I'm going to be picking up the shade Blackberry, which is the black in the palette. And I'm only going to be using a little bit of this color because with black, you got to be really careful or you could definitely put a little bit too much. And I'm just gonna be applying this, like I said before, like right into the crease. 
and I'm also going to be dragging that matte black right into the outer corner of the eye. And I'm just blending the edges of the eye look out using the shade Cherry Juice and that same brush just to fade that black in a little bit more. And now I'm gonna go in with some concealer and I'm just gonna cut out my lid space so we can apply a really light color, also that gold. I do recommend using like a full coverage concealer or an eye base, like the P. Louise base is really good. But I'm just using this NARS Vanilla concealer. It's really full coverage. So now that the crease is cut out, I'm just gonna make sure that I tap it really good so that this concealer is not super, super sticky. When we put the shadow on top, it doesn't try to cling onto it or like ruin the look. So I'm now gonna pick up the shade Sweet Cream, which is this beautiful like pale pink color. And I'm just gonna apply that onto the lid. So now I'm gonna be picking up the shade Honey Dipped and I'm just picking that up on a flat brush. And I'm gonna be spritzing my brush with a bit of the setting mist I have here just to really dampen it. And I'm gonna be placing that onto the outer portion of the lid. And then I'm gonna be grabbing the shade Cranberry and I'm gonna be placing that on the outer corner of the eye right next to Honey Dipped. And I'm bringing that up right into the crease, blending all those colors together. And now I'm gonna be picking up the Blackberry shade and I'm gonna be using this on a really flat brush and I'm just gonna go in and define the crease. And I'm also gonna be using this as a liner. So what I'm really loving about the black is you could literally use it as an eyeliner. It is that pigmented and black and there's no fallout that you could do a really beautiful like smoky liner on the eye. So definitely try and use some of these colors in this palette as liners because they do work amazing and I love that there's a black in here. So for the lower lash line, I'm just going to be taking a mixture of cranberry and bittersweet and I'm just going to smoke it out. So now I'm going to be picking up Sugar Cookie and it's the shade that is in the palette and this is a really beautiful shimmer. It is like a light pink with silver sparkles in it and I'm just going to be using this in the brow bone. This is a really good softening color so I'm just placing it in the brow bone and going a little bit over the shades I laid down to really soften up the look of the crease. And then just going back in with Bittersweet to bring a little bit of that color back in. So a trick that I really like to do as almost like a final step in the eye look is I take my concealer and I'm just gonna dip my foundation brush in it, just the tip of the bristles. And I just drag it along the eye look to really sharpen everything, just to get that perfect shape. I always do this and it makes everything look a little bit more clean. So I did like a pretty winged out shape for this look, but if you don't like bringing your eyeshadow out this far, you could totally keep it more inwards. And you definitely don't have to bring it like as far out as I did. But I just, I always bring mine out. You guys know, I like my eyeshadow like. So I am using a cream colored eyeliner in my waterline and I'm just filling in my whole waterline with this color. So now I'm gonna apply some false lashes and mascara and I'll be right back. I got my lashes on and I almost forgot to put an inner corner highlight. So I'm gonna be using the shade Sugar Cookie. So now I'm gonna be doing my blush and I really wanna grab a shade from here to do my blush. So I am going to use, I'm debating. I think I'm gonna pick up the shade Bittersweet. And now I'm going to be using the shade Sugar Cookie again as my highlight. So I'm just going to pick it up on a highlighting brush and I'm going to wet my brush. Ooh, that is so pretty as a highlight. And I did mix in a little bit of that shade Honey Dipped and it makes like the perfect 
color. It's so pretty. Now I'm just gonna spray my face with some setting mist. So I'm gonna be using both shades today. I'm gonna first put on the darker shade, which is Plum Berry. And these are a liquid cream lipstick, so they're supposed to feel really comfortable on the lips. And I also read the applicator is really good. Ooh, I already really like the shape of this. It's like a teardrop shape. And now I'm gonna pop on the shade Creamy Pink right in the center of the lips. And lastly, as a final step, I'm gonna be a little bit extra and I'm gonna be using the shade Sugar Cookie and honey dipped and i'm just going to use this as like a shoulder highlight because one thing that i always do when i do my makeup is i do body highlighting i just love it so i'm going to use these shades to highlight my body 